Good morning, grandkids. It's your grandma again. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things today that I got in the mail. And uh, one is from, it says, Unofficial Elder Scrolls Pages. Now, in this gift, I received another uh, yearly calendar, and I get one from uh, Elder Scrolls almost every year. But it never came from unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. I never heard that before. So, I uh, hope it's legit. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> anyway, they sent me the, the yearly calendar, and the pages the are all kind of dark and they look at some big bug that's in the game see the 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 pictures all seem kind of dark like to me that's one of those warriors but the cover of it is what's pretty it's got saints and seducers on, on it with Shia Gorth of course <laughs> He's so funny. So I got me a new calendar. Even though it's kind of dark. Look, look at this picture. But I shall put it up on the wall. And, and I... Some of the pictures look like they're Morrowind pictures. Yet it's got saints and seducers on the cover. And I got this Morrowind book from them. And it, and it's kind of thick. So I might, uh, I might kind of auction that off or something. I don't play Morrowind. And then I got me a mat. It, a map was included of Morrowind, I guess. And, and and then some pictures of characters that I don't know who this is. And they're written in sort of like a cartoon form, so I wouldn't recognize them anyway. Anime form, I guess I should say. I don't, I don't know what style it is. That one's pretty cool. But I don't know who they are. I guess they're from Morrowind. I don't know. Anyway, I got that. Yeah, I think, I think I would do, I think I'll do something about maybe, uh, giving this away somebody winning it or something i'll come up with something and then i got this this is the sweetest drawing painting whatever from Cut the tag off. Emma Sharon Borg. She lives in the Netherlands. That's who this came from. I will read the letter first before I show you her lovely picture. Dear Grandma Shirley, about four years now you've made me laugh with your mischievous, relaxing, and epic Skyrim adventures. Way back, your videos played in the background while I was working on art projects for college. Then and now, I'm watching your videos in my downtime with a cup of tea, enjoying how your stories unfold. It's difficult to explain the joy I feel watching your stories, so please allow me to show you through my illustration. 
Your Skyrim adventures inspired my creative soul throughout the years. And one day, two years ago, that inspiration came together in the idea of an illustration. Your heroes take a break from adventuring while listening to in-game Shirley reading stories. Much like us, the viewers listen to your Shirley's Bookshelf and Granny Cheryl's Bookshelf videos. In my illustration, there's only a part of your heroes present. They are waiting for the others to arrive. That's exactly what Anigo tells Shirley. You'll see what that means in a minute. The others are on their way, he says. The already present men in Mir left some spots open. Drinks are prepared, and Gansey brings food that she found along the way. It might seem a bit strange, the bookshelves are outside, but everything is accounted for. A magical dome surrounding them or an occasional clear, or an occasional clear skies will take care of any rain or snow. And with that, many strong adventurers gather gathered. No bandit, troll, bear, or dragon dares come close, except the one dragon already there. But he's there just to listen to Shirley's stories. The, this illustration took me a while to complete, and just in time for Christmas, too. I hope you enjoy this gift. Greetings, greetings from Emma Random, also known as Endem Sharonborg. Emma Sharon Moore. P.S. I'm so very proud of this illustration. Is it all right with you if I place it with a few of the process steps on my portfolio sites? Yes, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Because you did do a lovely job, and you should be proud enough to show it off on anything that you're doing. And, but, and besides sending me an unrolled picture, he sent, he sent me an unrolled sheet of paper <clears throat> showing the outline of people on the paper with a list on the side naming each person that's there in the picture. I thought that was really, really cool. Isn't that great? I think that is the coolest thing, and I'm going to frame it, and it's going to go on my wall. That right there, that's Angie, laying up there on my book. There. There's Grandma sitting in the chair to read to everybody, sitting, sitting down on the ground. And there's a Nego telling her that everybody else is on the way. This is, I just absolutely love this. I would like to go through and name each person for you, but I could just it's, it take too much time. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I wanted to vaguely mention that, uh, remember way, way back when I, I used to play Vanish all the time when I first started gaming, years and years and years ago. Then when I started recording Skyrim, I sort of stopped playing that game because it was a little top-down game moving people around and Skyrim was a big game of real real people to me and uh, so I haven't played that banished in years and years because I've been playing Skyrim for about what seven years anyway this company is selling a new game I can't even remember the name of it I doubt if I'd mention it if I did 
<laughs> I asked him for for a key and uh, to play for them and show off on my channel. They turned me down. They I don't think they looked at my channel or how how many uh, how many subscribers that I have or anything. They just looked at the few that I'm doing right now and said, oh, all you're doing is a few vlogs. <laughs> I'm taking a rest. <laughs> anyway, so screw that. I thought, what? You gotta be kidding me. This is the only, only one that has ever said no, they wouldn't send me a key. Anyway, that's all that I wanted to show you today. And I'm gonna get busy recording something. I am missing Skyrim so bad since I've taken a break. And uh, I think I'm gonna start you a new story. I think. I think I'm going to set out on an adventure because I've been playing a little bit for just myself and it's so hard for me. I, I can't find any of the saints and seducers. And I found two camps that had some of their armor laying on the ground, but they were just some bandits. And uh, one of the Khajiit camps on the way to Markarth told me somewhere to go and told me about the saints and seducers. So I think I'm going to start a new game and it's, and maybe I'll call it, uh, the hunt for the saints and seducers or something like that. And I'll, I'll start out from the, no, I'm not going to start out from the prisoners in the wagon. I'm t so tired of doing that. I've done it so many times. Uh, I'll get past that and then start the game somewhere, I don't know, on the road to Markarth so that I can find those Khajiits and see what they had to say again. And then I think what I have to do is travel on up the road to Solitude. And I think there's a, there's a guy I need to see who's down on the ground. I have to go down through a... Uh, What's a cover in the ground that covers a place you go down in? Anyway, I think that's what I'll do. So I might start that this afternoon and post it for in the morning. Or I might start it right now and post it for later today. I don't know which, but you shall find out whenever it appears. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for now. I hope you enjoyed those two gifts that I got. And... Uh, I will see you next time, grandkids. Be good. Bye-bye.